This is something that we can fight about, and there are people in the community that will back us up. A community in Point Loma, firmly rooted in its effort to save trees, is taking the battle to court. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. This has been an ongoing battle. The issue, the height of the trees impacting the flight path for planes. Now, a couple in Point Loma is suing the city's arborist and the FAA over the removal of palm trees that are about 100 years old. News 8's Heather Hope tells us what their attorney is saying and has an update from the city. Point Loma residents at Santa Barbara and Newport are upset that their neighborhood palm trees are being chopped down. These include trees that have this yellow caution tape surrounding them, and they're confused as to the real reason why they're on the chopping block. There's not giving us any calculations or any real reasons either. Protective over her neighboring palm trees, Tracy Vandewalker is keeping a close eye. Pretty much patrolling the neighborhood to try to see if they're going to sneak in and try to top off some of the trees before anyone's able to catch them. Just last week, neighbors of Ocean Beach and Point Loma rallied to save their area trees from being cut down from the city per FAA order for flight path safety. These are historical trees. They're older, again, than the airport is. So that's the importance of these. Now Tracy is suing. Their attorney filed a cease and desist order that they say went unanswered. And so it's very difficult to, for me or any of these people to understand why the sudden need for the removal of these trees. The city of San Diego says it will not comment on the lawsuit and stands by its statement from last week that read, at the request of the FAA and San Diego International Airport, the city of San Diego is planning to remove approximately yeah. 20 palm trees from two locations in Ocean Beach and Bankers Hill. The trees are located on city property. According to the FAA, during inclement weather conditions, these trees may interfere with the designated flight path and potentially cause arriving planes to be diverted away from the airport. 200 feet above sea ground is supposedly the FAA rule, these trees are 70 feet high. For them to get to 200 feet would take many, many, many more years. Attorney Mark Applebaum says the trees are about four to five miles west of the airport. He says residents want an open meeting and for a judge to sign off on a temporary restraining order to halt tree chopping. You now you have these long streets lined with the palm trees and it's just the feeling that you get that um, you're in this beach community and, and, and these tall majestic trees are beautiful. Heather Hope, News 8.